the U-Force sub-tank from Vupu. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Venvik here, back with another review. A review and a quick look, we're going to mash up the two formats. Uh, we're going to have a proper look at this, the brand new sub-tank from Vupu, the UFOS tank. Uh, now, it is being sold, you can get it separately, but it is being sold as a kit with the Vupu 2, and they've sent it me as a kit. So we're going to have a quick look at the uh, Vupu 2. Loads of, this has been out a while, loads of reviews already available for the Vupu 2. But uh, we're going to mainly look at the UFOS tank. What is it? It is, um, it is a sub tank that comes with two uh, coil heads. It's got the U4 coil head, uh, which is a 0.2 coil head. Uh, let's have a look. Best wattage 60 to 80, but they say it can go up to 120. And then they've got the U2, which is a 0.4 coil, and uh, the best wattages for that are 50 to 65, uh, but that one can go up to 80. Uh, so a very cloudy sub tank, 3.5 mil capacity. It's got your top fill. It's got all that stuff, um, and available in a wide range of colours. So this is their brand new high wattage sub tank, and uh, like I say, you can get it in a kit with the Vupu 2 vaping like this. Not the quietest vape, as you just heard, uh, but uh, as you saw, it's pumping out those clouds. Let's go down low, have a, a really quick look at the Vupu 2, and I'll give you quick thoughts of that on the end, but... Um, We'll mainly have a look at this uh, sub tank, the U Force, up close. Let's go. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the U Force tank from Vupu. Uh, this is it. You can see U Force there. That little arrow signifies the top fill. Bosch, click. And uh, you top fill it down there. No issues with that at all. Click it back into place. Jobs are good. And you've got this huge drip tip. Uh, really big drip tip affair. I haven't really tested any other drip tip, but I don't think anything else is going to fit. Um, do I have something I can just quickly test? See, that's a goon tip. It looks like goon tips are meant to fit, but this one just, just by a hair doesn't. Try another one. <laughs> so it looks as though if you have any of those goon tips that have O-rings on, they might fit, but um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I haven't got any goon tips to fit in here, but uh, yeah, big, 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 big wide open drip tip. Uh, you've got your glass section here, 3.5 mil capacity, this one, remember. Uh, you've got your adjustable airflow here, there's one, two, three of those, uh, so very, very airy when fully open. Uh, nice smooth action on the uh, airflow control, no issues there really at all. Uh, underneath, you've got uh, Vupu there and you've got one of these not particularly protruding pins I don't recommend this for hybrids or mechs or anything like that keep it on your regulated devices and uh, you'll be good to go turning it upside down and giving it a good hard screw reveals the uh, coil head now the coil head adds to the uh, how airy this thing is look how big that hole is there this is the 0.4 coil head um, all very very juicy indeed don't know if you can read that but that says uh, 40 to 80 watts best 55 to 65 watts uh, and that's the 0.4 head and it is a yeah a big sort of parallel coil in there now usually those result in quite poor flavor but um, the flavor is excellent on this uh, on this coil head this 0.4 head not bad at all for a sub tank uh, so pretty good obviously you just unscrew this from this base when you want to change it no issue with O-rings or uh, the glass or anything like that. It's very well put together. Uh, works absolutely fine in in all departments. So that is the U-Force tank, and we, I got mine in a kit with the Vupu 2. So if we just pop this back on the old Vupu 2, uh, we can have a very quick look at this as well. So Vupu 2, it's got this sort of slightly rubberized patterning on here very weird um, if you ask me very weird patterning very weird design I know some people will love it uh, but uh, yeah strange looking design uh, the gimmick with this mod is the sliding doors so you've got one battery here 
and one battery here and they're both hide behind their own individual sliding doors uh, you've got your uh, gene chip from Vupu inside there we go uh, and uh, that's what you've got going on you've got your two batteries uh, being shown on there you've got your resistance uh, you can flick through your modes here one two three and you can flick through your modes like that uh, excellent board excellent board excellent screen nice and clear not the fanciest screen in the world but very effective nonetheless plus minus fire micro USB and uh, yeah it's got this uh, quite a wide you can fit quite wide tanks on top which is a very good positive as well Vupu 2 on the side all good all good so um, the one thing to take note down low and we'll talk about it up top with this Vupu 2 is these doors um, look how, how much play there is just in general with your air this quite fiddly clicky I don't know the doors are the thing for me and we'll talk about that when we go up top which we will do now Okay, guys, that was the U-Force and the Vupu 2 down low. Um, <clears throat> really solid, really solid. You know, Vupu put their things together very, very well. You know, we know this. And the sub-tank is really well made. There's no, like, issues with the way the airflow turns or the, the drip tip fits or O-rings or anything like that. Very, very well put together sub-tank. Um, it's 24 mil wide. I think it might be a fraction bigger than that actually, but it's a 24 mil wide sub tank, 3.5 mil capacity, and it's made of 304 grade stainless steel. Um, and yeah, top fill works absolutely fine. The drip tip fits absolutely fine. It's very wide bore. I did show you that uh, down low. It's really wide bore, but I think you know that's in keeping with the nature of this tank. It's super super airy, very very airy indeed. Very. It's got three big airflow holes, you know, and so and they want you to go into that 60, 70, 80 watt range. It's a cloudy, cloudy sub tank, and uh, it's vaping like this. For me, it definitely uh, compares very well to the smock tanks. You know, they seem to be the most popular high wattage sub tanks right now. It, for me, it definitely compares to those. I would say. From ones I, the ones I've experienced, the flavours are a tiny bit better in this, to be honest. Um, but it definitely does that high wattage like those smock tanks do. Um, flavour is good. Not stellar, you know, it's not RTA flavour or RDA flavour, but for a sub tank, very, very solid flavour. If I was going to nitpick uh, things about this, for the size of it, I'm surprised it's only 3.5 mil capacity. The fact that it's 3.5 mil capacity means it's not TBD compliant. Um, and it's there's absolutely no beveling on this airflow at all, which makes it quite a noisy vape. I'm sure you can hear that. It's uh, it's it's loud. It's loud. It's just loud. Um, but uh, you know, so many of these sub tanks are. So many of these sub tanks are noisy. So I'm not, I, I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not putting that out there as a big negative. It's just a little negative. You've got to consider the fact that it's not a quiet vape. Uh, top fill works fine. Wicking works very, very well. I've got the uh, 0.4 head in here at 55 watts now. Uh, I went right through the 0.2 head. Uh, they sent me some extra one, a couple of extra ones, which is nice. Uh, but uh, they, yeah, the 0.2 head, very stellar, very good indeed. I, I prefer this 0.4 head, I've got to say, it's my favourite of the two, uh, just because of the wattage range that I like to vape. Um, if was, yeah, nitpicking, slightly noisy. I'm surprised it's only 3.5 mil, uh, mil capacity. Obviously, it's not TPD. Those are really the negatives. Uh, beyond that, obviously, the thing to know is your vape style. If you're a sub-50 watt vapor, there are other sub-tanks for you. Um, but if you're an over-50 watt uh, sub-tank vapor, then uh, then this definitely is a contender. It's right up there with the cloudy tanks. Uh, very nice. No wicking issues at all all at all it wicks very very well indeed um even when it gets low on juice i know that that sometimes an issue with sometimes but even when it gets low on juice it seems to keep up absolutely fine right to the bottom uh, which is really pleasing the longevity of these heads seems excellent as well i can't speak to all the sub all the sub tank coils that vupu are going to make i can't talk to the coils that you're going to get each one you know it's going to be a bit different there's going to be some bunk coils 
I haven't had a bunk oil. They've been great. And they've last. They're lasting on juice really, really well. So in my opinion, a really good high wattage sub tank. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, then definitely check this out. For me, it's better than the smock ones. It really is, honestly. Um, beyond that, a quick quick mention for the Vupu 2. I know it's been out a long time, uh, and there's loads of full reviews for it. Uh, my thoughts are very similar to my thoughts of the Vupu Drag. I know the Vupu Drag turned out to be a very popular mod, um, and I, I'm sure that this one has a place as well. The board is excellent. This Gene chip uh, is an excellent board. It really is a good chipset. Uh, I would like to see Vupu offer this board out as uh, to be bought separately so modders can use this board because it's a very very good board and I think it should be comp competing with Yeehee and with Evolve uh, on the board front and I think uh, getting this in some mod makers hands would be really good for, for Vupu and for the community uh, so it's a really 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 good board the mod is very very well made um, really well put together really well made mod in my opinion it's rock solid no rattle rock solid big thing Negatives though, the negatives are the same for me as they were for the drag. I don't think it's great looking. I think it's a bit silly looking if I'm being honest. It's not my taste at all. Um, and the battery thing. The battery thing, it's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. But um, there's too much play on the doors. They, they move too easily um, and it makes it a really fiddly. Even when you're just using it in your hand. Even when you're just picking it up and putting it down, the, the doors move, they play, and when you're just sat watching telly at home or whatever, you find yourself like constantly fiddling with these doors. They're really fidget friendly doors. I just can't stop doing that all the time. Uh, so the doors, nice idea, um, but they yeah they play too easy. There's too much play on them. They move too quick, too easy, and um, if I find myself fiddling with them. They're a real fidget thing. Um, so the mod I'm not super enamoured with great board well made mod if you like the look of it go for it absolutely go for it but for me uh, the mod is not quite there not quite there for me uh, just like the drag I think it could be more refined prettier etc uh, so I'd like to see them do a smarter looking mod to be honest um, but yeah the tank is fantastic I think it's a solid kit overall I'm not a massive fan of Vupu 2's doors uh, they're the big letdown for me but overall, it's solid mod. You know, the board is excellent. So that's that. U-Force, check it out. If you're a high wattage vapor, check out the U-Force tank. Very, very good indeed. Links in the description. Let me know what you think of the Vupu 2 and the U-Force tank in the comments. Uh, like if you want to. Smash that like button if you really want to. Um, I don't think anyone can tell. I don't think it shows up in the stats how hard you hit that like button. But feel free to hit it if you want. Uh, I've been from Vic, and I'll see you again soon.